Shalom family. So I've touched on the Trinity quite quite decently previously. And I'm going to keep touching on it every now and then so that you've got more and more proof, especially for the world, saying that there's no such thing or saying that Jesus is not God and all these things. And every time I find one that I think is really going to aid you, I'm going to share it with you. And today's that scripture is Isaiah 48, verse 12 to 17. And it reads as follows. And I'm going to point things out for you as I read. Listen to me, O Jacob. And Israel, my called. I am he. Now, I am is a title of God already. I am he. I am the first. I am also the last. Aleph and Taf. Indeed, my hand has laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand has stretched out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand up together. All of you, assemble yourselves and hear who among them has declared these things. Yahweh loves him. He shall do his pleasure on Babylon and his arm shall be against the Chaldeans. I, I have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I have brought him, and his way will prosper. Come near to me, hear this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, I was there. And now, Adonai, Adonai Yahweh and his spirit have sent me. Three. The son is saying that Adonai Yahweh and his spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, have sent me. The one who has been there from the beginning, who has laid out the foundations of the earth and stretched out the heavens. Thus says Yahweh, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Yahweh Elohecha. Your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way, Derech, God's way. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Yahweh Elohecha, your God. Trinity. Trinity. Absolutely beautiful. Adonai Yahweh and his spirit have sent me. It's all there, all the time, always and right in front of our faces. Plain reading of the text. He is God. Shalom.